Hello and welcome to Bowler CBT Labs. My name is Matt Bowler and in this lab video we will be taking a look at network address translation as it applies in the CCNP security uh, secure exam 642637. This is a new exam from the new Cisco CCNP security series and basically uh, it, it reviews a lot of the foundational routing and security uh, and switching security topics so one of those uh, as you can guess is network address translation or NAT it's a great way to hide internal addresses uh, as well as uh, kind of consolidate addresses if you're if you're doing a, a migration or a move or if you have uh, several networks that are that are coming together and you need to do some sort of translation while you uh, address issues that may you may be facing with address overlap uh, it's pretty common with large organizations as one organization may acquire another you, you'll find that internal addresses overlap and the uh, NAT can actually go both ways both internally and externally for say uh, in this particular environment I will be using two loopback adapters on the virtual router one here and we will be sourcing these loopbacks as we attempt to ping across the link over to router two so I can translate these addresses into um, perhaps a static one-to-one -one mapping to an outside address I can translate them dynamically using uh, an access list which will permit only certain source addresses using a standard access list or I could uh, and also then uh, specify uh, a pool that I will use for the external addresses and I can also using sort of a similar method uh, use what's called NAT overload or NAT with PAT PAT meaning port address translation and that is our many addresses into one translation scenario so I can actually use both of these internal addresses and translate them to a single external address so that's one of the greatest uses uh, and what has saved IP version 4 over the years this ability to translate several addresses into one using PAT or NAT overload.